Hi there, I'm Valerie from Pastimes Online, and I thought I would just talk a little bit about silks today. I recently read an article in a magazine, which I don't have handy at the moment, but I'll put it in there, regarding DPONE silks and how to incorporate silks into your quilting projects. Now I have just a small collection here in front of me, and the jacket I'm wearing has silk that's lined on the cuff and um, on the trim where the buttons go. And I'll take some close-up pictures, but one thing about silk is there's no right side or wrong side. The only thing that you need to be a bit cognizant of is the grain of the fabric. So on my button line here, it's going horizontal, and on my cuffs, it's actually going lengthwise. So it definitely adds texture and sheen to any quilting project. If you're part of our Box of the Month clubs, you've used it in... Um, you can tell that there's a definite grain to it and it adds and just gives dimension to your project. So a couple of things I want to show you are the needles that you should use and it's a smaller needle. They're 60 over 8, very fine point and they take the silk really well because the silk has a little bit of a looser weave to it than your regular cotton. Um, you can put an interfacing on the back of these and then it handles just like cotton. You press it the same way. Um, it's just an all-around nice fabric to work with because it gives you, you know, a solid color versus a pattern. It gives you a nice quiet space to put your eye on when you're looking at your finished project, whether it's a jacket or a bag or, you know, our box a month clubs. So um, that's about it. I just wanted just to quickly talk about them. You can wash them in cold, low dry, and or dry clean. So that's kind of just a quick little tidbit on DPONE silks. And if you have any questions or want more information, just please contact me through pastimesonline.ca. Thank you.